<clears throat> okay, okay, pick a card, any card. Go ahead, Tracy, pick a card. Okay. Take a good look at it. Remember it. Now put it back in the pile. Now, you're sure you'll be able to remember it. A little early for gambling, isn't it, Thomas? Oh, hi, Dad. I'm just, um, learning magic. My first trick. Really? Well, just don't make the house disappear, because I'm off to City Hall to register the new company, and I do need a home address. Gotcha. Ha-ha, <laughs> Shazam. See y'all later. Um, mm, Quit stalling, Houdini. Pick the card. Ooh, he's getting vibrations. Nine of spades. Wrong. What? It has to be. It was the queen of hearts. Queen of hearts? Tracy, you're lying. Nine of spades. I'm not lying. Thomas, it was the queen of hearts. There's a place that I can keep in my heart Full of people I can count on Wherever I go I keep their light in my life And every time I watch the sun go down I think about the dreams I have found In my hometown See? How many times have I told you not to leave the bike lying in the driveway? But I forgot! You forgot the last time, too, didn't you? <laughs> but, uh, no buts. I... And what are you two standing there grinning like a couple little monkeys for? Do you by any chance think this is funny? No, no. Not, not, no. At no not at all. Not at all. No. This is the last time, Tracy. Until you can demonstrate a little more responsibility, I am not fixing this bike. But... Maybe you should have thought of that a little bit earlier. Dad! Dad, nothing. Hey, where are you going? Oh, uh, to the bookshop. I want to find out more about magic. Can I come? <laughs> yeah, right. Don't think it's up to me to entertain you for the rest of the summer. Looking for, uh... Anything in particular? As a matter of fact, I am. Magic? Magic? <laughs> uh, I expect in a book that's not on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. You know, like how to do um, tricks and things? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Just wait a minute, OK? What are you doing here? Nothing. I don't want you to bother me. I told you that. I want to learn magic, too. Oh, hello, Tracy. Hello, Mr. Hodge. Beat it. No. Yeah. All right, look. This might prove informative. Gilbert Aladdin Hodge? 1956? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's me. I used to do magic in my younger days. Really? Mm-hmm. And that wasn't half bad, either. Uh, really. Are you sure you want to sell me this book? No, no, no. No charge. I just consider it alone. But uh, take good care of it, huh? Thanks, Mr. Hodge. I promise you, I'll put this book to good use. OK, good boy. Magic is harder than you think, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, we can still do it. Hey, we could do a show. Yeah, we could build a stage, too. And um, the curtain could hang out from a pole or something. That sounds like a lot of work. 
Why are you looking for trouble again? Where could we do it? There's bound to be other people who are bored and looking for a little entertainment. I know a place we can do it. We can do it at the hospital. Wait a minute, what do you mean, we? And what are you doing in the attic? Aw, uh, come on, Thomas. Why can't Tracy help? Because she'll muck things up just like she does everything else, right? I don't muck things up. Yes, you do. Have you forgotten about your bike? That was Dad's fault. Dad? <sighs> right. Get lost, Tracy. Aren't you being a little rough on her? I'm sure there's something she can do. Lisa, believe me, I know her. We're better off without her. You did what? I worked it out. They've agreed to let us put on our magic show for the hospital in two weeks. Two weeks? If I were you, I'd start practicing some magic. Yeah, but you're not me. Some magicians practice for years and years. Okay, that was in the old days. Don't worry. I got it covered. Looks ugly. No one asked your opinion. It's too plain. It needs some stars or a moon or something. That's a good idea. No, it isn't. You're supposed to announce me. Why? There's nobody here. Just announce me as if there is. It's rehearsal. Gentlemen, the great Tommaso. The great what? Sounds like a name for spaghetti sauce. Oh, I'm so sorry. The master is at work. Maybe I'll make you vanish. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll place my beautiful assistant, Lisa, in the magic box and send her to Saturn. Hey, I don't want to go to Saturn. It's just an expression. Now get in the box. Come on. What's wrong with this thing? Uh, we must have mentioned it wrong. Simon? You've got to help me with this. I can't get on stage during the show. Just for now. It won't work that way, Thomas. Shut up, Tracy. It's too small. How's Lisa going to get out? <sighs> there. And now, with a wave of my magic wand, and a few magic words, abracadabra. How is Lisa supposed to get out? Tracy, I said. So that's how she's gonna get out. That's it! There, my first successful vanishing trick. I didn't. Come on, Thomas, let her out. No, not until she promises to leave me alone. Let's see if we can get these tricks working. So much for the box. We have to build another one. This one's just too small. Thomas, I promise. I won't bother you anymore. No, be quiet. I'm trying to think. This is nuts. I'll let her out. Simon. She promised. Thank you. My blades? Whatever. Nothing. 
in between your ears? Now you listen to me, young lady. You were going well past the speed limit. Now, I have never given a speeding ticket to a skateboard before, but... Oh, come on, sir. Uh, what? She was on rollerblades. Whatever. In fact, I haven't given a ticket in over a month, but you're certainly going to be the next. But, sir, they had no brakes. Come, quick. This is hurt. <gasps> I twisted my ankle. Are you sure? How? You think I'm laying here for the view? Looks like you better get you to the hospital. Now what am I gonna do about the show? Sorry, sorry. Ta -da! Wait, you want me to get into this box? Of course I want you to get in this box. Because guess what? I'll make you disappear. Oh no, not that box. Uh, I'm claustrophobic. Tell me I heard right. You're afraid of heights and you're claustrophobic, too? Boy, you're a real mess, aren't you? And that ain't the half of it. Where am I gonna go when I disappear? I don't like strange places, either. That's real funny. It's, that's real funny. No, seriously. I'd love to help, but there's no way I could possibly fit into that box. It's way too small. Okay. Tracy, you've got to help me. After all you said, you want me to help you? You must really believe in magic. <laughs> please, Tracy. No. Oh, please, Tracy, I'll do anything for you. Anything. Anything? Oh, boy. Yes, anything. OK, I want only one thing. What? What? I want you to paint a moon and some stars on the magic box. Done. No, no, no. Come out to the middle of the stage. OK, OK. Tracy, the middle. Tracy, don't you know where center stage is? Do it again. Listen, I'm getting tired of doing all these bows. Let's do some magic. OK, fine, fine. We'll try the entrance again later. Let's try the cup trick. Great. <laughs> Show, not a clown act. Thomas, stop complaining. The work I can deal with. It's you that I can't stand. Yeah, well, I've had it with this show, too. I quit. Uh, Tracy, you can't quit. You're already fired. Oh, yeah? And what do you intend to do with this show? Cancel, I don't care. I'll be with you in just a minute. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Is your magic show almost ready? I, uh, th think. Everybody's been talking about it, and I've never seen a real magic show before. Yeah? Thomas, I'm so glad you came by. Did you see what the children made up? That's really great. 
So what can we do for you? I just, um, came by to see the space. Great. You'll be in the chapel. It's just down at the end of the hall. Well, we're doing x-ray. We'd better get going. See you at the show, Thomas. Well, hello, Thomas. Aladdin. I need your help. Come with me. Now, I practice the fine art of conjuring as a lad. <laughs> and I've performed a great number of illusions like this. Boom! Go ahead, open it up. Huh? Huh? This is incredible. <laughs> Go ahead, take it out, take yeah, it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. well, there you go. <laughs> Can you teach me some tricks? I, I just, I can't seem to make anything work. Well, I, uh, I can teach you a lot of things, but not tricks. I prefer to call them illusions. See, the trick is to get your audience to laugh and then you can deceive them. They will only see what you want them to see. Like this. Right? <laughs> I'm a little rusty, but... So, um... <clears throat> What's not working? The magic box. It's a disaster. Hmm. Well, welcome to the magical world of Aladdin. Ta da da! Huh? Huh? Wow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Is this um something I can do on my own? Alone? But don't you have someone to help you? Not exactly. Well, yeah, but every magician has an assistant. That's part of the illusion. I mean, without them, you can't divert the audience's attention. I don't have one. Oh, that's too bad, son. Hey, maybe, maybe you can be my assistant. Me? <laughs> Sorry. I'm much too old for this. Well, let me show you a card trick, Six, 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 six
And now, for my, my magnificent scarf trick. The box is empty. There's nothing in the box. It's a real rabbit. Bon voyage. Now then, is my assistant still with us? Now, do you think that Tracy could be somewhere else? Maybe even in this room? No? Then, Tracy, wherever you are in the land of Nod, I order you to return. Anytime. In my home. 